Welcome to the Syracuse CityLine tutorial. The goal of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to submit a service request. It will also highlight some of the features that are included on this platform, like uploading an image and automatic email notifications. Our goal is to provide residents more information on how to use this technology to submit a service request to the city. Please access the Syracuse CityLine portal on the city's website. Before a service request is submitted, users are encouraged to set up and create an account by clicking on the menu dots in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and selecting sign up. Users will be prompted to enter their contact information. And once that is entered, click register and you will receive email notifications to log in to your newly created account. Once an account is created, you are ready to submit a service request. I will demonstrate how to submit a service request now. Click on the new request button on the bottom of the screen. Users may select a service request location on the map or enter an address for the service request. I am going to enter our address here at City Hall using 233 East Washington Street. Once the location is identified, click Confirm Location button at the bottom of the page. Once the location is selected, users are prompted to select a request category. There are multiple service request categories to choose from. Our service request today is overgrown grass, so we will select building and home maintenance for overgrown grass. If you do not find a category that includes your service request, users may choose the other option to enter their specific request. Once you select your category, users will have the option to add a photo of the service request, but this is not required and users may select no photo if a photo will not be submitted. After the photo is uploaded, please make sure to review the message on screen as it may contain important information about your service request. Users may then use the drop down list to find an option that best describes their concern. If your service request is not listed on the drop down list, users may select the other option in the drop down list and add the details in the description field above. We're going to select report overgrown grass. Users have three options on how they su may submit a request. Users are encouraged to submit a request with an account so you may receive updates on the progress of the request and get notified when the service request has been resolved. Users may also hide their identity and submit a service request. And finally, users may submit service requests as a guest, but you will not receive any updates or notifications about the request. Once users have selected how they want to submit a service request, click next and you will be prompted to formally submit the service request. Users may register and submit their request or users with an account may sign in and submit their request. Thank you for watching the video and we look forward to seeing your service request in the new Syracuse CityLine portal.